So I've been online for about 10 months now and uh, I think it's time that we take our relationship to the next level. I think, uh, I think you and I should get to know each other a little bit better, don't you? It's half 12 in the afternoon <laughs> and I have a glass of wine poured. <laughs> well, you already know me there. <laughs> you already know way more than enough about me there. I'm joking, I don't drink in the afternoon. This is a prop. Oh. White wine and toothpaste. Not a good mix. Hey hello, Demons and Gamaritas! Now today I'm going to be bringing you a video that's a little bit different than my usual videos. You know, I usually do reviews and top tens and things about video games. Um, but today I wanted to do something a FUCK! WHY? But today I wanted to do something a little less scripted and a bit more laid back and casual and chillax and do a tag video? Now I've never done one of these before and they're all over YouTube, you know, you see typical vloggers do them all the time. Um, but I was watching uh, Miss Yummy, who I came across, uh, is it Miss Yummy or is it just Yummy? I think it's Miss Yummy. Yeah, I came across Miss Yummy and she is a video game YouTuber as well and she did the TMI tag and I thought, you know what, well, I'm going to do that because there's nothing wrong with putting your deepest, darkest personal information on the internet, right? Nothing at all is wrong with that. <laughs> Numero uno, what are you wearing? Well, I'm wearing a beanie hat, it's from eBay. I never really wear this one because it kind of makes my head look a weird funny shape, but it's nice and cozy. It's got a little bubble. Um, and seeing as we're in March and we're transitioning through to spring soon, I want to get all my wear out of my beanie hats as I can. I'm also wearing my moose blood jumper, which I freaking adore. It's amazing, it's like fluffy on the inside. Look, it's fluffy on the inside, it's so warm and cosy, and I got it in a size large, so it's just big and cosy, and I could just, and it's got a little moose blood sign there. I'm really obsessed with moose blood at the moment. Um, leggings, live in black leggings, and mm, socks. <laughs> uh, I guess that's everything I'm wearing. Number two, have you ever been in love? And yes. Thankfully, I'm currently in love with my beautiful hunk of a boyfriend, Jimmy. Um, I kind of also love Nathan Drake as well, though. Number three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Um, one of my first boyfriends, you know, we broke up and it probably, it felt like the worst thing in the world at that time. I was like 16 and, oh, my world was ending, even though I'd only been going out with him for like six months. Um, but looking back now, it's just... It was all the hormones and the teenage angst, and it wasn't really that terrible. So, thankfully, I haven't really had a terrible breakup um, because I've been with Jimmy for like the past four years. So, within that time, I haven't had a breakup. Yay! Number four, how tall are you? I think I'm five foot four slash five foot five. I'm kind of in that in between area. Really average, you know. Average hail is average. Number five, how much do you weigh? Um, I make a note of never weighing myself at home, but um, I have to go to the hospital quite a lot for my consultant uh, to do with my liver. So they weigh you every time you go to see if you've like had a massive weight drop or anything and something to do with seriousness and blah, blah, blah. And I never really look, but she always says something in the kind of 60 kilogram bandwidth. 60 kilogram, is that right? Kilograms? I don't know what that equates to in stone. I guess it's just, I hope it's just an average body weight. I don't think I'm obese. <laughs> Number six, any tattoos? Yes, I have got four tattoos. In the order I got them in, I got my biohazard tattoo over the space where my liver is um, and over my biopsy scar. It's a kind of, you know, in joke. Ha ha ha, my liver is biohazard just Ha ha ha. And sometimes when I'm having like consultations and stuff, the doctors look at it and they're like, hey, and I'm like, hey, and it's just banter really. The one I got after that is my PlayStation tattoo. You can't really see it here, but I'll do another clip. I was gonna get originally, you know, the PS, original PS1 kind of colored symbol. Um, then I was gonna get the, the, you know, the X circle triangle square symbols. 
And then I was like, no, that's so overdone. So I had a controller instead because, you know, that's the way you connect with the game, through the controller. So yeah, it's a bit faded now. It used to be very black, but I kind of like the way it's faded to like a gray color because it like reminiscent of the PS1 era, you know, when you had the grey console. So I was going to get it touched up, but I think I might keep it like grey, you know, homage to the old days. And number three is the I'm a fawn, you dork tattoo that I've got on my foot, which if you know Spyro, it is from Spyro. It's from Spyro 2 when Laura and Spyro's like, what are you, some kind of goat? She's like, I'm a fawn, you dork. Um, it's literally, <laughs> it's the best quote in video games. And I've got it in some sort of kind of mural with gems and banners. And I love it, but it was the most painful experience of my life. Four hours of constant pain. Like cold sweats, almost passing out. You know, when you get tattoos after a while, it kind of, you just get used to the pain. With that, no, it got worse and my foot swelled up to like the size of an elephant foot and I couldn't walk around for about two weeks but it was worth it, you know, Spyro was always worth it. And number four was my Fallout 3 tattoo with Vault Boy doing the thumbs up and the mushroom cloud in the background and a little uh, lightning sign and the words war never changes underneath and in terms of like art history, that's like my most favourite one that I've had done I think it's just the colours are amazing and the way she drew the Vault Boy just so accurately. I'm like so stoked with it. So whenever I look at it, I'm like, yeah, that's a cool tattoo. Number seven, do you have any piercings? I'm a bit boring. I just have my ears pierced. Occasionally I wear earrings, like if I'm going out somewhere posh and I want it to complement my outfit. Um, but from back in the day, I used to have like four ear, you can't really see. No, um, but I had like four piercings there uh, from when I was like cool and emo and having loads of ear piercings was cool. But I haven't used those for years, but they still haven't kind of healed up. I don't know why. I think it's because I had them done with a gun instead of a needle and it just like shattered my ear cartilage or something. Number eight, who is your OTP? <laughs> um, I don't really have an OTP. Who comes to mind when I think OTP? I think Fran and Balthia from Final Fantasy XII comes to mind when I think of OTP because they are literally just the couple of awesomeness. Number nine, what's your favourite television show? Um, I'm not a big TV watcher actually. I have Netflix and I use it for films mainly. Like I just do not have the time to watch TV. I would rather put my time into playing video games than put my time into watching television shows. People are always like, oh, you haven't watched Breaking Bad, you need to watch it. Oh, you haven't watched Game of Thrones, you need to watch it. I just don't really have the time. There is one, <laughs> there is one TV show though that I do watch religiously and it's kind of lame and I'm kind of like an old lady for it, but it's my guilty pleasure. I watch Coronation Street, which is a soap here in the UK and it's kind of awful, but I love it at the same time. I am a loser. Number 10, what's your favorite band? Now this is a hard question for me because my favourite music, my favourite songs and my favourite bands change all the time. They change with my mood and they just alter every single day. But at the moment I would say the band that I listen to the most is probably Mooseblood. My homeboys, I went to see them live um, a couple of weeks ago and they were fantastic. 11, what is something you miss? Um, and that, at the moment, definitely is my cat Smokey, who passed away about a month ago. I miss her every single day, and whenever I come downstairs in the morning, I'm, I'm so used to her coming up to me and meowing and saying hi, and not having that anymore is kind of lame. It really just breaks my heart that she's not here anymore, so I do miss her a hell of a lot. I know some people will only be like, will be like oh, she's only a cat, but you know, she's been in my life for 15 years. I, I saw her pretty much every day for 15 years. So, you know, to not have her here anymore, it's kind of, it kind of sucks. So I miss the little old Smokey, I really do. Number 12, what's your favorite song? Again, like I said before, with the music thing, it changes all the time. At the moment, 
It's Cherry by Mooseblood. Would you have thought it was Mooseblood? Who knows? But yeah, it's Mooseblood again. Yeah, Cherry is a great song. Love it. On my iPod, my most played song is Let's Stay Together by Al Green, which is also a cracker. Numero 13 How old are you? I'm 20 and I'm going to be 21 next month. I'm going to be 21 next month! I don't want to be 21. That means I'm a real adult. A real adult. I can go to Vegas and fucking lose my mind on alcohol. That, that marks real adulthood right there. Number 14. What's your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus. <laughs> I am Taurian, which means my qualities are being stubborn, being self-indulgent, being lazy. materialistic and sensual. <laughs> Apparently I'm sensual. I think you and I should get to know each other a little bit better, don't you? Number 15, the quality I look for in a partner. Now, initially, as in actually visually seeing with my eyeballs, what I look for is, <laughs> this sounds so freaking shallow, but I look for some sort of like beardy stubbly facial hair because I think men with clean shaven chins kind of look worse than guys with stubble. I could be proven wrong, but in my experience, guys always look better with a bit of fluff going on around here. And also, I just think it's nicer to kiss a guy with a little brushy, brushy stubbly mouth rather than clean shaven baby face. But then what I look for in a partner, you know, like personality wise, is the cliche, oh, he has to be able to make me laugh. You know, I can't, I can't be doing with people that are just serious all the time. We need to be able to dance in the kitchen and make fun of things on television and just have a ball, really. But I also look for someone who is intelligent. There is nothing worse than having a conversation with someone who you have to alter your words when they don't understand what you mean, like you want to use really good Lexis and vocabulary, but they're like, oh, what do you mean? That is the fucking worst. So they have to have a smidgen of intelligence about them. Otherwise, I just can't hold a conversation and I want to stab myself in the face. Oh, and also the number one thing is they need to know the definition of what ignorance means. Ignorance does not mean that someone is ignoring you. Ignorance means that you are uneducated about a topic. There we go, have we cleaned that up? Has everyone cleaned that up? Do we all know the definition now of ignorance? Thank you. Sorry, I'm just going on a bit of a rant there. Um, false. Number 16, what's your favorite quote? I'm not someone who goes for all these inspirational, do what makes you happy quotes and things like that off Instagram. I find them super cheesy. But the quotes that I do like, this is actually originally a Latin quote, but I don't know what it is in Latin. They condemn what they do not understand. I think that's a great quote. And also, you ruin your life by tolerating it. I think they are very profound and I like the meanings behind them both and they're not too cheesy. 17. Who's your favourite actor? My favourite actor at the moment at the moment is James McAvoy. I've got a big thing for James McAvoy at the moment. It kind of pisses my boyfriend off. His accent is kind of like butter just melting on your eardrums. He is divine and I want to go and see him in London in, in the theatre but they're all sold out and it makes me cry a little bit inside because I could actually see him visually with my eyeballs but there you go. Number 18, what's your favourite colour? Um, my favourite colour to wear is grey or black or white. Very minimalist. Uh, but my favourite colour, 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 colour that I would just like in general is blue. Like a sort of turquoisey, darkish, bluey colour. Like the, like the blue, like the mid-tone blue on a Vault Boys jumpsuit. That's my favourite colour. It's very specific. <laughs> Number 19, loud music or soft music? I am more of a girl who prefers background music. You know, kind of instrumental, soundtracky, ambient sounds in the background whilst I'm trying to like work or whatever. But then some days, depending on your mood, you're just like, you wanna rock out and you wanna listen to loud music and you wanna go <laughs> Depends on my mood. 
Number 20, where do you go when you're sad? I would just go to my room and get in my bed and just kind of get in a little cocoon and just be sad on my own. What kind of question is this? Number 21, how long does it take you to shower? Um, I don't time myself. I usually just do what needs to be done and clean myself and it usually takes like the average time for washing oneself in the shower. Um, uh, yeah, that is a weird question. Number 22, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Um, I keep starting my answers with um and it's making me annoyed. Um, so I just did it again, stop saying um. Okay, it depends where I'm going and how much makeup is needed for the particular activity that I am embracing. I don't know, I would say anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour, I guess. Number 23, have you ever been in a physical fight? Does getting punched in the face in a nightclub by a 40 year old man count as a physical fight? Because that definitely happened because Blackpool is just the best place on earth. Visit Blackpool. Don't. Number 24, what's a turn on? <laughs> like I said before about what I look for in a partner, stubbly beards, intelligence. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty much my turn ons. Beards and being brainy. Number 25, I think I just spat. What's your turn off? <laughs> Not knowing what the word ignorance means. Number 26, <laughs> what's the reason you joined YouTube? The reason I joined YouTube was because back in the day I used to have a job working at Blockbuster Entertainment which was the best job ever! I loved getting to go to work and talk about video games to people and have free rentals of video games and doing midnight launches and stuff like that. It was great and then Blockbuster shut down obviously, obvi not obviously, but everyone knows in the UK that Blockbuster shut down in 2013 and I make, got made redundant and it sucked. Um, and I really miss Blockbuster, I miss the interaction with people about video games and belonging to that sort of community so I thought why not do YouTube because it's kind of the same thing but on more of a global level getting to interact with people about games and talk about games and have my own opinion on games so that's kind of why I set up a channel to do that kind of stuff. Number 27, what are your fears? Illness, not having financial stability, and losing people that I love. Number 28, what was the last thing that made you cry? The last thing that made me cry was Smokey's death. My parents told me and they had her wrapped in a blanket. She passed away in the garage on her own, bless her. Um, so I came downstairs and I was, I was fine, like I didn't cry then. And then I went back up, upstairs to my boyfriend um, and I told him Smokey died and I just burst into tears. I didn't feel myself welling up or anything. It just happened like straight away. I just started crying instantly. Um, so that was the last thing that made me cry, little Smokey Wokey. Number 30, what is the meaning behind your YouTube name? Hail Fail is a combination of Hail, which is my last name, and Fail, which is a gaming term, I guess. And it rhymes! It rhymes! Yay! It's poking fun at myself so other people couldn't be like, ha, you're such a fail. And I'd be like, yeah, I know, my name says that, duh. Number 31, what's the last book you read? I'm not a big book reader, but I did read the Hunger Games trilogy. So what was the last one in that? Uh, Mocking, was it Mockingjay? I think that was the last full book that I read. Number 32, what's the book that you're currently reading? <laughs> At the risk of sounding like an utter delinquent, I'm actually not reading anything at the moment. Uh, I, I just don't really read books. Mm. Number 33, what's the last show you watched? <laughs> I watched Coronation Street on Wednesday. It's on again tonight and it's a double episode. Yay! <laughs> Number 34, who's the last person you talked to? That was my mom about an hour ago before she went to work. I'm gonna go now. And I was like, okay, see you tonight. And she's like, bye. Good conversation there. Number 35, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Let's have a look, I think I know who it will be. Yes, it's my boyfriend. We are in a relationship. I said, oh, by the way, there's another Insomnia Gaming Festival in August, so I don't have to go to the one in April. We, because he wants to take me away for my birthday, kind of around the time where Insomnia is. And then he said, that's good. That's really bloody good. <laughs> And then he also said, potato waffles are my new thing, I think. What? <laughs> 
weirdo. Number 36, what's your favorite food? Food is great. I have a lot of favorite foods, but I would ever say tuna pasta bake, like homemade cheesy, yummy, tuna -y goodness, or seafood in general. It's like a seafood platter, like prawns and fish and mussels and clams and a thousand island sauce is the bomb. Number 37, what's a place that you want to visit? Top of my visit list at the moment that I really want to go to is Tokyo. I think Tokyo would just be fabulous, but that is a lot of money. But hopefully some point in my life, I will be able to go to Tokyo. I just think it would just be freaking fantastic. Number 39, do you have a crush? <gasps> yeah, it's you. I have a crush on you. Number love, 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 love. number 40, when was the last time you kissed someone? Whenever I saw Jim, when was that? When was that? Was that Wednesday? A couple of days ago, I think. Getting that kissy action right there. Number 41, when was the last time you were insulted? See, the joy of being a YouTuber is you get insulted all the time. So, probably some point today, one of my comments were insulting me. Oh, probably some point this week. Thanks, trolls. Number 42, what's your favorite flavor of sweet? I don't know if they mean dessert here or as in candy sweets, but my favorite kind of flavor of dessert is lemon. Like, I love lemon desserts. Lemon cheesecake, lemon mousse, lemon posset, lemon ice cream, lemon anything. I will be on that. Number 43, what instruments do you play? I'm self-taught in acoustic guitar, piano, and I can kind of sing a little bit, you know, if I try. I'm all right at singing. Usually I have to have a couple of glasses of wine. Number 44, what's your favorite piece of jewelry? My boyfriend's parents, for my 18th birthday, they got me a leather Pandora bracelet, which I used to wear constantly, but it's kind of safe, it's in a safekeeping box now because I don't want to kind of ruin it. I used to wear it every single day. I never took it off. I'd wear it in swimming pools, showers and everything. I just didn't want it to like get broken or anything. Um, and on that it has it has a little 18 charm, it has a camera charm from when I started my degree in photography. But yeah, my Pandora bracelet is my favourite piece of jewellery. Number 45, what's the last sport you played? <laughs> this list, man, this list does not know me. Exercise, bloody hell. Wait, does, does squats count as sports? Does squats count as a sport? Cause I do, I do squats every day, cause you gotta get that booty though. Number 46, what's the last song you sang? I think the last song I sang was, when I was getting ready, I was listening to Kerrang Radio, and Pixies were playing, and I was kind of singing along to, This monkey's gone to heaven. Cause that is a good song, and I haven't heard the Pixies in ages, so I was like, yeah man. Number 47, what's your favorite chat up line? Did you fall from heaven? It looked like you hit every branch on the way down, you ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Number 48, have you ever used it? I just used it to you guys, don't you feel loved? Number 49, the last time you hung out with anyone? I'm gonna take this as a question that means not my boyfriend because I seem to literally just hang out with him all the time because I am a loner. I don't hang out with anyone, <laughs> I'm such a loser. I saw my friend Mike, who I haven't seen in years, uh, when we both went to the Fight Star concert a couple of weeks ago. And it was really nice to like chill out with him and hang out with him. And he made me try falafel for the first time, which I'm now obsessed with and I make it like every day. So yeah. And finally, number 50, who should answer these questions next? And I'm gonna tag every single person who's watching this video. All of my gamers and gameritas, I want you to do this video and tweet me your link so I can watch them all and I can comment and we can all just have a great big fun time. I hope you like this video. I know it's a bit different than what I usually do, but I am so busy with uni at the moment, so I just thought I'd break the mold a little bit with these reviews and do something a bit different. So now you know all about me, and I hope you don't stalk me on the internet. Adios gamers and gameritas. I will see you in another gamerita, baby babu, babli blablu. Bye! I meant to say I will see you guys in another game related video somewhere in the future, but I'm sure you guessed that. I'm gonna drink the rest of this wine, I'm gonna get drunk by 2pm, have a good one.